What I love about design is how it can change people's lives for the better. I'm Rosie RDT and welcome to my project on the Upper West Side. This is a pre-war building and a lot of the original details were maintained in this apartment. I wanted to keep these details, but I also wanted to create a home with a mix of mid-century modern and contemporary pieces so that it becomes a cohesive retreat. And I can't wait to show it to you. I wanted the entry hall to be welcoming, but also make a statement. So to do this, I wanted to bring in natural materials like hardwood and handwoven jute. So I selected this runner from Armadillo and paired it with a solid wood console, which has ample storage with drawers and room for baskets. And I mimic these materials in the mirror using iron and natural rope. I don't need everything to match, but I want materials to work together. And to give the entry a wow factor, we use this marbleized wallpaper from Harlequin. The movement from the wallpaper is mimicked in this mid-century ceramic vase, and I love mid-century ceramics. And the colorways of the vase carries throughout the house. I wanted the living room to be comfortable, functional, yet stylish. Comfort not only comes from the seating, but also the materials used in this room. So I chose this textured grass cloth from Philip Jeffries for the walls. I love the added texture it brings to a room and the color variations. I love grounding a room with area rugs. My go-to are wool and silk rugs because there's so much richness in their fibers and they're also natural materials. The mustard in the rug ties with the lounge chair which is mid-century modern, so as this Milo Bauman sofa. And this custom millwork was all about function. It fits perfectly with the architecture of the room while providing a lot of storage options. For the throw pillows on the sofa, we use navy and burgundy that mimic the vase in the entry. And again, things don't need to match, they just need to work together. In the dining room, we kept most of the original details, like the crown molding and the French doors. To balance off the traditional details, we brought in mid-century dining chairs and a contemporary table. And I wanted to have a little bit more fun with these mid-century chairs. So I upholstered the outside backs with a more bolder pattern, but kept the inside backs to be a neutral fabric. The fabric on the inside of the chairs ties very nicely with the wallpaper on the walls. And the pattern on the outside back of these chairs pairs very nicely with the more graphically patterned area rug and we made sure the dining table was extendable so that my client could host larger parties. And just like the living room, the dining room is comfortable, functional, and stylish. In the primary bedroom, I wanted to create a calm and serene environment. So I kept the color scheme to more neutrals like off-whites, ivories, and navy. I still wanted to bring in texture here, so I grounded the room with this wool area rug. And what feels better on bare feet than wool? I love a crisp white bedding because you can offset it with more texture materials like cashmere. And this throw here specifically ties in all the colors we have throughout the apartment. Because storage is so important in New York, I chose these nightstands that already has drawers. And to finish this room off, I selected this piece of art. My client needed a place to relax and I think we achieved it. Through careful selection of furniture pieces, mixed with natural materials, textures, and pops of color, you can really change the feel of a room. And that really changes the lives of the people who live here, for the better. And this is why I do what I do. Thanks for taking a look. If you thought this place was impressive, just wait. We've got so much more to show you. Like and subscribe, and you'll see more gorgeous places almost every day.